Okay, I'm gonna be ready for this to be done. I'm ready for you to eat again. I'm, I'm f hungry. <laughs> What's the dangers of an inexperienced faster? Numerous things, but primarily they may go crazy. How's that? What's giving you the drive to do this? I'm just trying to find myself, find this God, find the truth. I don't know. I just expect I'm going to find something that I can hold on to. I think that it might kill him. Following my heart this whole time, it's clear to me that my heart's not going to sustain this journey. Cool. All right, Mark, I'll talk to you soon. Hang in there. So right there, we just lost our tree and a place to stay around the tree. We were supposed to go there today. You said I did something, and I don't think I do it. I think there's a relevance to my life right now. I'm just at the turning point. I'm just at this, you know, something's happening. I would like to find my laughter again, because it's been a long time since I've heard the type of laughter that I think I used to be capable of. We got it, we got the tree! Woo! We did it! After all this time, after all these setbacks and difficulties and challenges, we've got a tree, and what a tree it is. I could never, have, in my wildest dreams, pick this tree because this tree is just way too amazing. So, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab Neil, and then we're gonna surprise him with this amazing tree. We're gonna leave them there <laughs> for a few days. So. We want to be good at being. We need to let go of the doing. This journey is him modeling to us the courage to love and to heal. So you could just as easily say, you know, I could change right now. I could let the past go. I could say, I don't want to carry this burden anymore. I live my life differently as of this moment and choose happiness and look for it wherever I can. Something magical is happening, right? Is that true?